In this lesson, I want to explain and talk about interesting tool that called Smart Track. The Smart Track is a, a smart guide for driving you very in accurate mode and uh, very simplest way. For example, we begin from this. First, you have to uh, select a tool for driving. First, I you can uh, activate it or deactivate it, the smart track from here. Click on it. Uh, and now it is deactivated. If you click on it, as you can see, it can activate it. If it deactivated, for example, you want to draw a line in this direction. For example, I want to draw a line in this direction that is exactly the direction of that line and exactly that direction of that line and then <clears throat> draw that. As you can see, it's very hard now. But if you select a smart track, then select the track uh, tool. First, going your mouse over any uh, point that you want. First, <clears throat> I will explain all of the OS snap and snap tool uh, after that. Uh, next lesson. But those are very simple. First, activate end. It means you can snap your point end of any <clears throat> object. Or you can near uh, over any curve, a point, any point, and that's it. We need those. Okay, it's enough. You going your mouse over of over hover of uh, sorry hover over of any point, and as you can see, a guide uh, point, a smart point will be activated, and then you if you drag your uh, point to draw as you can see you can uh, a guide line that is a perpendicular and uh, adjust a line to that point is will be appearing and you can uh, select and click your model according and in a direction of that point again as you can see a guide will be appear and you can uh, draw a line exactly at that direction <clears throat> Okay, I want to draw a line this direction and this direction. First, select a point going almost over that point and then over that point. Just to identify, to understand the software, you want to recognize which point to draw, align them. As you can see, if you're going most over them, you can uh, draw your point at any direction that you want. As you can see, it's automatically defined intersection between them and you can click and again click and you can draw your line exactly at direction of that point. Or you want to first class draw a line. As you can see, you have not ortho. If you select the ortho here, you can draw an ortho and a angle that you specify in the next previous lesson but if you want to uh, turn off the ortho uh, have that guide simply don't click the second go over your point first point again and it will be recognized that point as a guide as a smart guide and guide you to the ortho this is the way and you can, for example, if you want to create a line in direction of this point, going your point over that, and you can draw your point at that direction. This is a guide. Okay. <clears throat> As you can see, if I going uh, my mo uh, my mouse cursor over any point, the smart point will appear and recognize that point, that direction, that object, and guide you automatically. <clears throat> okay, you can create uh, a smart uh, point in the air uh, yourself. You can simply first click an object, click and comment to draw, for example, something curve. I will explain the curve there. So anywhere in a space you can uh, click in a control as you can see <clears throat> you can create a control point when the control point is active it means a guide will be through that it turn into blue I tell you I explained you have to change that color at once or going anywhere in a space click 
another control or click another control or click another control to add a uh, guide points as you can see if you're going most near them the guides will be automatically uh, recognize for example intersection between that point perpendicular that point direction you can go in uh, draw your modeling in the very accurate and nice uh, modeling that you want <laughs> so you can uh, create your smart point by first select a comment and hit control and control if you want to disable or disappear your uh, disappear your your remove or your uh, smart point double click on control I mean uh, control control click it twice they will be disappear or removed okay now I will going to explain the settings that we have interesting option in it you can turn it on and off right click and select the settings the a smart track and guide setting will be open here you can enable a smart track and guides i will explain you what is the guide guide is here the, the guide is not in a menu menu but it's in here i will explain you it is a guide for example there are a line there are a straight line that you can uh, click and click them and uh, with a near snap you can draw your point through that guide oh i'm a guide tool if you select a comment the guide will be up here and you can uh, draw your line on the guide for removing guide going to the that tool again a right click and that uh, software tell you please click on the guide to remove or remove all you can remove them all I will really explain guide next lesson going to the <coughs> settings because we we here have the color guide color you can change the color of them you can change oh sorry first that a, a smart point activation delay in milliseconds it means if you go in your most hour any points it will be in this number in the milliseconds uh, define that point as a smart point it is a very fast mate don't uh, change that number or the max number of uh, smart point you saw the smart point you can define how many of them in the scene <clears throat> appear in the scene it's 18 in default you can make 10 or any number that you want if your line a guideline will be annoying you you can change it to the dot line just select the tool and here as you can see uh, there are the dot line but they are difficult to see i prefer the default setting or you can here change your line you can change your color line you can change the perpendicular and the, uh, per the tangent and perpendicular i will explain you what what is those you can change the color of the point the active point color you can change it the active point color means the point that we are on it and uh, the guides going through them you can change the guide color uh, <clears throat> I explained something a smart ortho as I said before if you select a tool and click first click and if you want to uh, second click to draw your line as you can see we have not ortho uh, guide automatically you have to go into the first point and then the ortho guides uh, will be up here what is the ortho I re explained it in a previous lesson refer to them this is ortho but if you want to Mm, appear this ortho <clears throat> a smart guide at the first of drawing your line going to the sitting and click that activate that as you uh, can see if you select the first point the ortho guide will be automatically going here but it is uh, annoying I think but you can uh, deactivate that uh, interesting and important part is smart tangents and perpendicular guides for example if you want to draw a line exactly perpendicular at this curve you can go select a line going that uh, for example perpendicular line from that point that you want 
if you click and the second click the software will be automatically <clears throat> uh, recognize the perpendicular and at the tooltip you can see uh, it's right on perpendicular you can see it or um, and you can uh, draw a line exactly perpendicular at your uh, curve or you can create a tangent line going almost uh, near the curve as you can see, this is a guide that you can draw a line exactly tangent to the uh, curve. Okay. <clears throat> or you can draw a line. For example, I want to continue that line that exactly going to the tangent or uh, tangent along with it is, will be correct to draw. And for example, if I disable disable the, the smart track and drawing as you can see I have a, something breaking here and I want a smart guy to make a smooth curve with the correct tangent activate the smart track and going to draw a line as you can see this is a curve i explained the curve in the next lesson this is a curve that you can <clears throat> click on the with the control point you can draw a control point and after that you can uh, adjust your curve with the control points um, select that curve first click the software define the first click uh, Changing your mouse position in this direction, as you can see, the suddenly uh, guideline that we appear that that in the tooltip is on tangent, as you can see. And the software tell you, please, if you click here along this line and put your curve or you put your control point, it's exactly at the tangent of the previous curve, and everything is correct. Select your control point here. Select again and done as you can see we draw a smooth and correct tangent in our uh, point uh, curves or you can connect the curve from out of the curve select the curve going that and if you want to align your curve with that point that curve select that point go your mouse over that point to recognize the point from uh, they recognize that point and then if you uh, drag your most the software automatically define the tangent for you and you can click uh, third for creating control point there and going to the point click and then right click as you can see because of that control point is uh, aligning that control point to the next curve we have a smooth and nice tangent curve because of power of the smart track another interesting smart track is parallel here I deactivate that the parallel for example I want to um, create a line exactly parallel at this line okay for example, going to the polyline and select click and I want to draw a line parallel to that. If we have a smart, if you haven't a smart track, it will be poss impossible for that or it's a very time consuming to that. But you, you can do it easily with a smart track. First, you select, select, uh, you want to draw your line. Uh, don't be click in a second, going to that. Uh, to uh, specify that uh, object um, line you have to specify a, po a smart point going that point as you can see it would be uh, um, recognized and then going to your uh, base point that you want to create a line with that going over that and the software recognize that and if you uh, uh, drag your most uh, guide parallel guide will be appear and you can draw uh, along that parallel guide and everything is correct so first click on your destination or parallel first second um, 
for the second specify your uh, baseline and a smart guy do the other for you okay practice them or uh, we have a lot of example about the smart track the smart track is very useful for your modeling process and we will use it a lot and you can learn more about that hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.